Peace be with you everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Trevor, really grateful to have you here. And today's video is just gonna be my top 10 picks for the month of May. So for me, May is all about April showers, bring May flowers, so florals are gonna be big components in my choices for the month of May, as well as that fresh laundry, clothes drying out on the clothesline, that sort of imagery is big with me and my associations with the month of May. Uh, barbershop style fragrances and just that overall fresh, clean, soapy kind of vibe that you get to harmonize with that spring cleaning. Um, spirit, I guess you could say, are also going to be key players for me here in the month of May. So without further ado, I'm just going to get started right with this list in no particular order. I don't have them ranked, but uh, this one is the cheapest and probably the most hidden gem. Not sure if you can get it outside of the U.S., but I know that they do have free shipping, $25 for a 100 ml bottle, and that is Therapia by Aromas Shepra. So this right here, I like to call Reflection Man Au Fresh. It definitely keeps with that fresh linen vibe that you get in Reflection Man, but this takes away a lot of the mist Middle Eastern twist. Uh, some of the resins and some of the spicy qualities that you get with some of the Middle Easterns are absent here. This is French perfumery. Fresh, clean linen, creamy, sweet florals in the form of, I believe, jasmine and ylang ylang. They don't list notes for their fragrances over at Therapia by Aroma, but I pick up some patchouli, some labdanum, some jasmine, some ylang ylang. That's what this is to my nose, and like I said, it, it, it goes in that fresh linen vibe that you get from Reflection Man with less of the resinous uh, and spicy accords, as well as this lax orris root, which I think is a main player in Reflection Man, but just kind of that really nice, creamy, a little bit earthy floral with a very clean, fresh laundry kind of vibe going on. So that's Therapy by Aromas Shepra. You can get this 25 mLs, or 100 mLs for $25. Really great cheapie. Uh, moving on to another cheapie for the month of May. This is Dolce & Gabbana's Pour Homme. So this is a really nice kind of citrus aromatic fragrance. You get a really nice melange of citruses in the top here that introduce the fragrance, make it a very nice, uh, bright, fresh, happy-go-lucky, easy to wear, office, dumb reach, errand running style fragrance, easy signature scent. Uh, what also makes this unique is it's got a really nice lavender note, so it presents itself with that masculine edge from lavender, a little bit creamy quality, and then also a tobacco note. So it's uh, somewhat of a floral tobacco, uh, citrus aromatic is what you get with this one. Uh, as you can see from the juice level, I really do enjoy this one. And if you have the money, it might be worth uh, checking out this one right here. This is the vintage version of this fragrance. Uh, I believe this is made in France, this is made in Italy. There is a made in UK version that I have not tried, but I hear is heavy on black pepper. And so can come off more harsh to some people. I can't speak from experience, but this one is going upwards of $250, $300. Might be worth it, depending. I do think this is on par with some of the you know, something like Parfums de Marley that you'd be paying $250 uh, for 125 mLs, which is what this is. But nonetheless, I think this Made in France one is great, and you can get this as a cheapie for under 40 bucks. Definitely worth checking that one out. Like I said, easy to wear, nice, bright, happy fragrance. Citrus, tobacco, lavender, beautiful stuff. Uh, moving on, another cheapie right here, this is Dunhill Icon. So you can pick this one up for right around, I believe, $40 is what the going rate is at the time of this video. Some people get a grape soda opening off the top here, a fizzy grape soda kind of vibe. For me, I, I don't pick that up. I feel like it's kind of like some people say they get a menthol vibe off of Parfums de Marley Layton, which I also don't get. But Beyond the fizzy grape soda, what this is, is to me a dry neroli bomb. So you get a really nice dry neroli that gives this orangey citrus, but not citrus in terms of like the fruit, but just the almost creamy quality, almost like a dry creamsicle, you could think, in the terms of the floral neroli components. And then black pepper also plays a big component in here. There's some lavender that also makes it a very nice, easy to wear, fresh, clean, masculine fragrance, great for the office. 
but the floral components in here is what really sells this for me in the month of May. Another beautiful, just masculine floral, easy to wear and well constructed. Carlos Benayim, I believe, is the perfumer behind this one. Really great stuff. Don't know if it's being discontinued. I know this is getting a little bit harder to find as I've been trying to keep tabs on it to make sure it's still in chibi range, but definitely worth owning and, or at least sampling and at the prices they're going at right now I think this is fine for a blind buy that's Dunhill icon okay and I guess wrapping up the cheapies here we're gonna go ahead and recommend our Moffs Club de Nuit Siage so this is a clone of this fragrance right here this is Creed's Silver Mountain Water this is the newest formulation of this fragrance. I can't speak for vintage bottles, but it, I think this one is what I would go for these days in terms of the price difference. I got this one for right at 200 bucks, uh, and that was a good deal. You're hard pressed to find this for less than 250, and this one you can get for right around 30, 35 dollars. This one. The, the differences are very slight. I think this one is obviously higher quality ingredients and there's a unique melon fruitiness in this one that I don't get in here. However, this one has a really nice added amped up floral component which makes this something that I actually prefer because of that floral component for the month of May over the actual Silver Mountain Water, at least this newer batch that's in my possession now. So beautiful, nice, juicy bergamot, fresh opening, floral mids that kind of give it a really nice, um, almost soapy kind of texture. And then the overall composition comes together to evoke imagery of a nice, fresh mountain stream flowing in the beautitudes and greenness of nature that's kind of what this fragrance is doing as well as the original silver mountain water they both do that really well they also have a slight inky like a pen ink metallic edge to them but it's it, it harmonizes very well with what it's trying to do it almost just gives it like a mineralic quality to replicate the kind of smell of the pebbles that are at the bottom of the riverbed as the stream is flowing through. That's Armas Club de Nuit Siage. I recommend this or Silver Mountain Water if you want to pay the extra money, but I don't think the markup and price difference is worth it with this particular um, comparison. Okay, so I think we've gone through all of the cheapies on the list. The next one is technically discontinued, but they somewhat re-released it, I heard at least. Uh, but I'm going to recommend for the month of May, Guerlain L'Omidial Cologne. So you can still find this 100ml bottle of this version, even though it's been discontinued for some time, for right around $100 on eBay and Mercari. This used to be a cheapie, you could get 50ml of this for like 20 bucks. But somehow Guerlain kind of tightened up the supply of their fragrances and the prices have really shot up to being about $100 on discounters for this line anymore. So you're really just paying what you would for any of the other flankers if you get this uh, on a second rate site like eBay or Mercari. However, I do believe that Guerlain just recently re-released this fragrance in a different bottle called like Plantine Privé. I haven't smelled it so I can't confirm, but the people that have smelled both say that this is extremely similar to that fragrance. So if you want, you can go ahead and try that one out off of this recommendation. But I personally think this bottle matches up with the vibe that the month of May gives me more so. This really nice, bright, creamy kind of yellow juice inside of this really nice white bottle, just fresh, clean, kind of white linen shirt vibe going on here, which is what this smells like. It's got this beautiful, creamy almond note, which this line is known for, and then this really nice kind of sparkly grapefruit over the top of all that. About average performance for a freshie, it gives me about four to five hours, but I've gotten lots of compliments on this one. It's a very enjoyable wear. The texture from the almond is just nice, creamy, but also fresh and clean, not too cloying at all in the heat. Highly recommend this one, and if you can't get this one, try the Plantine Privé. At least that's what others are saying. Like I said, I haven't tried it myself. However, um, if you don't want to try Plantain Privé or risk it on that one and you can't find that one, I think this fragrance, Chanel Allure Homme Edition Blanche, is a fine fit for that genre of fragrance, just kind of like a creamy, citrus, easy to wear fragrance. I think that 
this is the better fragrance compared to Edition Blanche. However, this is fine and it fits into the slot if you can't find the cologne. And if this is too expensive, there is one other cheapie that I would recommend for this kind of nice, fruity, creamy fragrance, and that is Chic for Men. Really nice hidden gem cheapie. Doesn't get talked about much, but it's got a really nice opening with this watermelon fruitiness, and then it dries down to a creamy sandalwood. And honestly reminds me a lot of this fragrance. They actually have a, a lot of overlap in their notes if you looked on Fragrantica as well. So. Um, that's Irland L'Omidiel Cologne, and if you can't find that one, go with Edition Blanche, and if this is too expensive, go with uh, CH Men Chic. Okay, moving on to the next pick here. Keeping with the floral theme, I'm going to go with Cartier Declaration Dun Soir. Really beautiful, cold, dewy, a little bit sweet and jammy rose, but it leans a lot more to the fresh side than the sweet and jammy. And then it's got this wrapping of culinary spices that you would get from a Cartier Declaration flanker, like the cumin, that gives it this almost savory quality. So I would say this is a savory rose fragrance. It's fresh, dewy, and savory and spicy. Fresh, spicy, savory, dewy, rose right here done exceptionally well D definitely niche quality in my opinion because it's such a unique fragrance it's such a high quality note composition it's a shame that the prices are going up but i think i you can find this for like 70 bucks and it's well worth that i think it used to be a cheapie where you could get for like 40 but definitely definitely still worth the price that's cartier declaration done soir beautiful men's rose fragrance Okay, uh, next one, my pick from Prada. Prada seems to fit the month of May exceptionally well in terms of what it's offering with that clean soapy vibe. And you could easily go with Prada Loam or Prada Loam Low. I think the ginger in Prada Loam Low is a great accent to the month of May, that sparkly brightness in there. But for me, my pick for the month of May is Prada Infusion to Iris Cedri. So this is basically, soap isolate it's really more of an aura than an actual fragrance it just smells exactly like soap concentrate whereas you know Prada Loam it's soapy but it's got a really intense powdery texture to it that kind of makes it a little bit more thick than clean smelling to at least to my nose it's also got some some dense sweetness with some ambers and that iris and the way it just comes together it's a little bit cloying to me at times. This never gets cloying. Just absolutely epitome of fresh and clean right here. Beautiful. It's, it smells like you just took hotel sh soap and like grated it in a cheese grater and you just have these little wood shavings of soap. That's kind of what this is right here. Just perfect, clean, kind of waxy, soapy kind of vibe. Beautiful, beautiful composition right here and a little bit of a hidden gem don't really see people talking about this one much that is Prada Infusion Dye Cedric. Alright I think we only have three fragrances left um, <clears throat> next one up is Fougere Royale by Hubigant. a little bit difficult to find this one I think if you check out News Parfums though uh, they ship from Europe and it's like $20 shipping but it's only like $140 Plus that to get like, you know, you'd be paying like 160 on News Parfums for this one. I think it's hard to find under 200 uh, otherwise in the US, but amazing Fougere fragrance. It's just got this, it's very dry, but it's got a floral component to it that's pretty unique for a Fougere. Definitely more on the aromatic side than the barbershop shaving cream side, so it's a lot more um, kind of like leafy, floral, aromatic captures that imagery of replicating the imaginary note of fern rather well. So like I said, a lot more of a fresh aromatic fougere than a creamy shaving foam style barbershop fragrance, but amazing stuff, easy to wear, uh, a little bit mature or serious, um, so it's a little bit more dressed up, but you could definitely wear this casually as a signature. And it's got a unique lilac note in there that gives it, and, a, and also a unique chamomile note that give it this really nice creamy texture. So it's like dry, creamy, floral, fresh. 
Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Can't recommend this one enough. This is uh, Fougier Royale by Hougagan. Top two here. Like I said, it's not ranked, so it's not necessarily a top two, but next one, my scent of the day today. This is Tom Ford's Beau de Jour. Uh, cheating a little bit by putting this one in my May list. It was also featured in my March list because it's got a really nice bright mint note. But that mint note in here, because it is so bright and because this is such a beautiful, clean barbershop fragrance, I decided I had to feature it again in the month of May. It perfectly accents the day that I'm experiencing where I'm at right now. There's a slight cool breeze in the air. It's not a warm spring breeze, but a cool spring breeze. The weather in the air is absolutely room temperature. It's amazing, and this fragrance caps off that um, beautitude perfectly well. Uh, nice kind of old school classy gentleman fragrance. It is a little bit mature smelling for some people I would say. Definitely up my personal alley but uh, worth testing out first. I'm sure they have these ones out at your Sephora and stuff so uh, definitely get your nose on it I would say but beautiful beautiful fragrance and uh, I think if you wanted to get it on a budget check out Davidoff's Zeno. I gifted that fragrance away but I think it does smell pretty close. This one I think is a little bit more suited for warmer weather than Zeno is however. The mint in here just has a lot more of a, a bright quality to it that accents the spring. Okay and I think this is the last one here to round out the end of the video, and that is Fougere Amarud. Uh, so, last three fragrances here are all kind of aromatic Fougere barbershop fragrances. This one is heavy on the florals. Uh, so while Hubagant Fougere Royale is somewhat of a floral barbershop, um, it's, it's more of like a barbershop fragrance with floral accents, whereas this is a floral fragrance with barbershop accents. So this opens up with a huge blast of tuberose, and the tuberose in here is very fleshy, like you feel like, you know, like, uh, that, that texture that flower petals have. It's somewhat fleshy, a little bit um, moist and dry at the same time, uh, just like, almost like a very soft leathery feel. That's kind of the texture that you get off the tube rows right off the bat here and then this dries down after about 20 to 30 minutes into a really nice masculine lavender barbershop style fragrance. Uh, amazing stuff. Um, compliment getter, I have gotten compliments on this one as well. Very expensive niche fragrance however, you're paying more for this 50 ml than you usually do for 100 ml of Creed's. However, I think this is uh, definitely worth it, definitely one of my favorite niche fragrances in my entire collection. and my number one uh, favorite wear that I've had for this month of May 2023. Um, so that rounds out my top picks for the month of May. Let me know what you've been wearing this month in the comment section down below. Let me know if there's anything I might have missed or um, you know if you know my tastes, recommend something to me so I have something to wear for 2024. And I appreciate you as always. Thank you so much for watching to the end. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.